Hello and welcome to the fourth and perhaps the hardest part of the um, of the special of new special test because in this one we're doing we're testing the menisci and starting with the first and the hardest test uh, with Murray's test um, position is supine patients laying down uh, we're gonna testing for the menisci in this case and um, so any uh, ruptures to the menisci and we're gonna start in the Godfrey's position. Uh, and we're gonna get a good hold of their calcaneus um, and uh, we start in Godfrey's position so the knee is 90 degrees flexed so we can uh, find those uh, menisci they're gonna be located about the tibial tuberosity um, next we're gonna uh, lower their leg down to um, I don't know let's say 30 degrees and from here on out with our hands still on the um, meniscus menisci we're gonna do four motions. First we're going to start, two of the motions are going to be with the foot internally rotated, so we're going to internally rotate the foot and we're going to bring the knee up and in, uh, drawing a circle with the knee, and back up and out, and as we're doing that motion our fingers are on the menisca and we're um, checking for any clicking, popping, um, discomfort that may occur there. And then for the second two motions, we're gonna externally rotate the foot and same two motions, we're gonna bring the knee up and in, drawing a circle and uh, carefully not to <laughs> accidentally injure their knee and back up and out, drawing a second circle. So um, in the video, it was called teardrops uh, and it is a teardrop because it looks like um, a teardrop, but I think of it as circles because uh, the knee is going through a circular motion. So that's the McMurray's test and um, There wasn't much clicking or popping just a normal amount because her knees aren't stretched But she it was negative because Again, we would need it, it would be much more obvious than that uh, next is gonna be the um, Apley's compression test. For this one, the position of the patient is gonna be prone, and uh, so she's gonna be laying on her stomach, and um, I wanna need your knees on the bed here, yeah. So, or the, 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 the table, right? Um, so, say we were uh, testing this leg, and uh, position's prone, testing for the menisci tears. Um, so, we're gonna uh, grab the foot and almost grind it um, down into the femur and uh, again for this one we're testing for uh, any we're checking for any popping clicking um, any discomfort uh, and this one is uh, painful um, or because we're literally pressing down onto their uh, femur and the pressing down this guy against the femur um, so she appears to be fine as I'm performing the test so I'm gonna stop doing that to um, not bother her knees anymore. Um, did I mention everything? Prone, knee at 90 degrees, um, looking for popping, clicking, discomfort, and uh, yeah, I showed you how to perform it. And finally, we have the Fesley um, uh, test. Fesley test is gonna be standing, so Annabelle is gonna be standing here, and uh, she's gonna face me. Uh, you guys can see us, and she's gonna stand on one foot. I'm gonna hold up her hands for balance, uh, so she's stood up on her right foot. I appears we'll be testing this one, and I'm gonna ask Annabelle to uh, rotate on her uh, right foot as as she's bending it a little bit, and uh, rotate with her whole torso as I'm holding up. And if you could bend it a bit more, that's better. And back up. There you go. You can place the other foot down. Um, her knees seem to be stable and. Uh, um, didn't collapse. Uh, someone with uh, this is uh, one of the gold standards because someone with a um, menisca tear would not be able to uh, stand uh, stable on their one foot and twist and bend without actually collapsing or feeling any pain or discomfort. So Annabelle appears to be fine and uh, yeah, position standing with one foot supporting, um, passing for menisci. We've got it all. Um, yeah, so those are our meniscus tests, with McMurray's being the hardest one to perform, or the trickiest, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the fifth and last part.